What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with TheHunterGT.com. That's right, go check out the website. Got the rad metal detecting forum over there, full of some rad dudes talking shop, showing off their finds. I would absolutely love to have you, TheHunterGT.com. Well, what is going on today? Part two of the Nocta Macro Amphibio Multi Review. It is here. If you have not checked out part one, what are you doing here? Go back, check out part one. We go through the unboxing, the menu and feature rundown. We take a look at the detector specs on paper. And here in part two, we will be looking at the performance, the meat and potatoes, recovery speed, separation, some nail tests, some air tests, all that good stuff coming up here. These recently took a 15% price drop, which is absolutely fantastic if you are a buyer looking for a new detector. From $899 down to $764, and in my opinion, at $764, this is a steal. Um, it really is a steal. This detector is waterproof to 5 meters, I mean 16 feet. It has three different frequencies on it. It is stupid deep. I mean stupid deep. The recovery speed and the separation, as you will see in this video, is just bonkers. So here we go. If you want to pick one up, Heath Jones over at Treasure Mountain Metal Detectors. What you're going to do is let him know that you are a subscriber to me, the Hunter GT. You must let him know that you are a sub and that I sent you over his way. What are you going to get? Free shipping right away. And you never know what sort of other special deals and discounts they have going. So drop my name. Let him know you are a sub. Heath Jones over at Treasure Mountain Metal Detectors. Great guy to work with, great company over there. So without further ado, what do you say we run this through some separation recovery speed tests here and see how this old Amphibio does. So let's bump it up to Gen Delta mode. That's the all metal mode. So in a true recovery speed test, the coin should be coil width apart. If they're inside the coil width, you are looking at separation. They are two different terms, two different definitions. Do they play into each other and tie into each other? Yes, absolutely. But a true recovery speed test will be coil width apart. I'm not doing that right now. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone here. This is gonna be recovery and separation. So you're looking at this saying, geez, but those coins are six inches apart, Hunter GT. You're right, they are, but this is a third, or I'm sorry, an 11 inch round coil, not a 13, an 11 inch round coil. So I got the coins. If one's halfway, the other one's on the edge there. So you see, they're basically halfway from the coil. So about five, what, 5.5 to six inches apart here, okay? So separation and recovery speed, two different terms, but they can tie into each other. So gin delta, one, two, three, no problem. Let's speed it up. No problem, crazy fast, crazy fast. So let's go down to the two-tone mode, which is used for relic hunting. According to Nocta Macro, they say this is your relic hunting mode here. One, two, three. It is pretty darn quick. So three tone mode, let's go to 90. In three tone mode, 90 and above is that extra depth. I'm getting double hits. Five hits. <laughs> So I can swing it fast enough to get rid of the five hits because it's double inside, outside, in, or outside, inside, outside. Yeah, so I'm getting five hits. One, two, three, four, five. But if I go fast enough, I can get those to disappear and it's just one, two, three. Okay, you hear that? They'll disappear and it's just one, two, three. So I drop it the gain down to 89 now, and this is like it's stupid fast recovery speed. Mm -hmm. 
See, it's not disappearing now. All five tones are there, they're just so fast. I hope my camera can even pick that up, the audio. It is so blazing fast that it's doing that just from going 89 gain to 90. In 90, I can get it to skip from five down to three. In 89 gain, I cannot. So if you are in a stupid trashy park or spot with iron nails that's just littered, three tone mode, 89 gain, you are gonna lose a couple inches of depth doing that. However, it more than makes up for it for the recovery speed and separation you are receiving as the benefit. So very nice. So. That's the separation and recovery speed. We're still in 89 on three tone. Let, let's get stupid here. So it's a pretty big coil. Let's go down. Look at that. That's about, they're, they're all inside the coil there. All three of them inside the coil by quite a bit actually. So by quite a bit. So let's see here. No problem. Let's go even further. That is crazy. You can hear it. It's like a click, 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 click in the background. And I hope the audio is coming through on this camera. That is, it, it's bonkers. It's bonkers. Okay, so it separates. I mean, it, it's stupid separation and recovery speed. Stupid being a good term. I'm going back to my 90s slang here. Um, I, this is, it's phenomenal how fast it goes in that 89 game mode. I love it. In a trashy park and the coins really, if you're in a trashy spot, trust me, they really stand out. Um, in that mode. They're, they're clipped, it's kind of a clipped audio, don't get me wrong, it clips a little bit, but a coin in that scenario in a trashy park around roots of trees or around a tree base or something like that where there's a lot of drops, they really pop out compared to all the bottle caps and pull tabs that are much more clipped. So it, it's, a, it's a very nice mode to work with, very nice. All right, let's go on to the next test. All right, got a nail here, a long nail, a large nail. Um, basically the nail that fits on Monty's nail board test. So here we go sideways. It gets a little pop. I'm at nine, I wanna say nine on my zero disc. Tone break is at nine. So it's still letting in a little chirp, like a crackle that way. And then this way is totally silent. That's an easy test. This, this way is going to pass, no problem. But this one right here, you take your detector right up to the edge. You can see it's a, it's a low tone. So I have my tone volume set to 2 for iron and 5 for the squeakers, for the, the good stuff. So we'll start with a high conductor, like a dime. Go ahead. So this is a tough test here, starting with a high conductor. Most tests, these are done with a zinc penny or a Indian head penny. So here's a dime. Definitely getting it. It doesn't like the middle of the coil, but watch this on the edges. Eats it up, eats it up right there for some reason. And then this way is real easy. You can hear the iron in it still since it allows the iron volume to come through, but it's just lower at two. So, and then diagonal. Definitely hear it, definitely. But it's weird how this way, it doesn't like it like that but it likes both edges. All right, that's enough on the dime. Let's try the next conductor up, which is an Indian head penny right here. Got my son helping me, Hunter. 
That's his real name, Hunter, just like my channel. How about that? So we're definitely getting it this way. Again, it likes the outer rim. Even with full sweeps, you would definitely investigate that. So if you own one of these, you definitely you, you do that. Do that outer edge with it. And it just screams on it that way. No problem that way. And it's picking it up diagonal, no problem too. So next one up is a nickel. I've seen some guys in forums and stuff say, oh, use a nickel because it's a low, one of the lower conductors. Okay, well, here we go. It's such a high mass coin though. You'll see it's pretty easy. Yeah, it eats it up pretty good, so. Loves the middle of the coil that way. And a big conductor, or a big mass, low conductor, or mid conductor, sorry, like that. It does like the middle of the coil. And the edges as well. So let's run it real quick down to that three tone. Gain is at 50, so it's under 89. Take that, oh, we'll just start with the nickel. Really comes in with that. That's that ultra fast recovery speed. Okay, go ahead and take it off. We'll see how it sounds like without anything here real quick, hold on. So as you can see, it's just that. So it's nothing. You can barely hear the iron coming through. So go ahead with, just pick one. It doesn't matter, yeah, the mid conductor there, the zinc penny. You can hear it. I mean, you definitely investigate that. Those little squeaks like that. And this way, no problem. I'm getting triple hits this way. All right, and then with the dime, really a small high conductor silver dime. It's a clip tone, but I mean, there's no doubt. Remember, this is an 11 inch DD coil. I know some of you guys are thinking, well, geez, Hunter, I've seen some other detectors you've used this test on, this long nail test like this, and they sounded a little crisper. Yeah, because they have smaller, shallower coils. They're not as wide. This is an 11 inch DD round. I have a seven inch concentric that I'm gonna be using in an upcoming video and wait till you see that on a level plane test like this, a concentric is gonna kill it compared to a DD. Technically, a DD is gonna be an elevated test, but you know, I don't have time for 20 different elevated tests and Monty's tests and then a long test and then, oh, put the nails this way, stack them up this way, do this, do that. Ain't nobody got time for all that. So I just pretty much use one nail like this. A lot of detectors can't pass this. Many, many detectors on the market cannot pass this test or they don't pass it very well. So I just pretty much use this one, call it a day. Concentric coil that you can put on these amphibios will absolutely kill a level playing field test like this. So there we go. Um, we got nails, we got recovery speed, separation. Let's bump into some air testing real quick and see what sort of numbers we're getting there. Okay, so I can't run it 99 gain, zero disc indoors, outdoors, in the city environment, basically. Even at my local park I hunt, I can never really go above 90 gain and at least three, four on my disc. Now on this Amphibio, zero to 15 is gonna be an inverse disc to depth ratio. So from zero, you're getting the most depth, at disc 15, your depth is gonna suffer, but it's gonna control the EMI, it's gonna control those pops and chatters like that. As soon as you hit disc 16 upwards, the EMI is reintroduced, your depth is reintroduced, you gain all that depth back. Um, so it's definitely something you wanna play around with. Zero, to, it talks about it in the manual, zero to 15 will really quiet that down if you raise it up. However, 
I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna drive out in the middle of nowhere or anything like that to do this up to 99. I can get it quiet if I'm out of the city. If I'm relic hunting or something like that, yes, it'll happen. Um, but it is what it is. So there's two camps. You're either gonna look at that and say, oh my God, I'm not dealing with that. I wanna go to 99. Or you're gonna say, I'm okay with running 70, 80 and still get pretty decent depth. And I'll show you that right now. So here we go with some air testing and I'll go over the settings. It's at 80 gain disc five in deep mode right now. Okay, so 80 gain disc five. It does not like the camera. Anytime I move the camera around a bit, it'll give me a little pop and chat here and there. So, but as you can hear, very quiet. So thin mercury dime. Let's see what we get at 10 inches. 11, 12, 13, and we're clear out to 14 inches. Let's try a copper penny. A foot, 13, loud signal too, 14, and we're breaking up at 15, 16 there. Let's try a, a nickel. Boy, listen to that at nine, 10 inches. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Breaking up at 16. Just a regular old clad nickel. 16 inches. Let's try this big old honkin' half dollar. Look at that, a li walking liberty half dollar. See how it likes big silver. Foot, 13, 14, 15, 16, and we're starting to break up at about 16 inches. Let's try these last two objects. We got a gold ring and a silver ring. Quite a thin gold ring there. Look at that bad boy. It is super, super thin. And then we got that thick old silver ring. So this ring is super thin. I mean, it is just bonkers thin ring. Let's find out. 10K. One foot. 13, 14, and we're starting to lose it at 15 inches there. Let's try this big old honking silver. Oh, I gotta stand up, my legs are hurting. 12, 13, 14, and it's starting to break up at about 14, 15. So it actually liked that gold ring a little bit better. So there it is. That is deep mode at 80 gain. So 19 down from full blast and it's still easily going past a foot. I mean a foot, let's listen to this dime again. At a foot here, at a foot. Listen to that signal. That's a good signal for a foot. So quite good um so final thoughts i mean that's just some quick air testing in deep mode i'm not going to go through every single mode here guys um you're just going to take my word for it like i said in three tone mode 89 gain is super fast 89 or lower 89 or i'm sorry 90 and above you're going to gain those extra couple inches back um so Factory default settings, you're looking at 70 gain and three on the disc across the board pretty much except for beach mode and gen delta. So you're pretty much at 70 gain and disc three. That's gonna get you 13 inches or so, 14 inches in an air test. Then you bump it over to deep mode and you bump the gain up a little, raise the disc up a little to about five or six like I just did, and you're gonna get another couple inches. And it's gonna be ultra smooth, okay? Now, it's when you start to raise your gain up into the 80s and 90s, you saw what happened, especially if you're at disc zero. I cannot stress it enough, disc three, four, five is gonna really quiet it down, and then as you go up to 10, 15, you're gonna lose a ton of depth 
but you are going to very vastly decrease the EMI and the little pops and chatters. So say you have one of those parks where your lawnmower guy uses cans as targets and likes to go shred aluminum everywhere. It's almost like a game for the guy or something. This is gonna pick up every little tiny bit and speck and you're gonna hear it come through the speaker. So it's, you're gonna hear a tons of pops and chips and chatters and farts and burps and stuff like that if your gain is too high. So there's two camps, right? You're either gonna love that or hate that. And this detector is gonna be no different. So some guys like to use DST on an F75, some guys don't. They want the older hot ones or whatever. So I personally like a hot detector like this. When I go up to 99, I don't want there to be any quietness at all. I want it to be like a lightning rod in my hands and let me decide if I wanna use it that way or not. Um, this Amphibio may take that to a little bit of the extreme at times, especially in the city. Um, it is what it is. So, but if I go up to 99 on a detector and it's dead quiet, I'm sorry, but I'm wondering what is left, what, that, that room that I can push it up to that crazy chatter to where it's unusable. I want to push myself right up to that threshold to where it's unusable. Okay, so that's where I like to sit. That's where a lot of guys like to sit. So if that's where you like to sit, this Amphibio is going to be right up your alley. I mean, if you can go out away from EMI right now, I could have been testing this thing at like 20 inches. I'm not kidding. Away from EMI, all the way up to 99 with zero disc, it'll be dead silent out in the middle of nowhere and you can hit a dime at like a 20 inch air test. It's stupid. It is bonkers how deep this machine is. I promised myself I wasn't going to sit here and mention other detectors during this review. I was going to let it stand on its own two feet, but it seems like everybody wants an Equinox, right? Oh, Amphibio versus Equinox. Amphibio versus Equinox. It's, it's ridiculous. But I'm telling you right now, I've got about 25 hours on the Equinox. I've got over 100 on this. This is absolutely deeper. And I plan on getting an Equinox to review here in the next month or two. Um, so keep an eye out for that as well. So I'm telling you right now, this machine is deeper than the 800 and the 600. Since this took a 15% drop to 764, to me, it's a no-brainer. Um, it, it's a no-brainer at 750. 64. I mean, that is a bonkers price for three frequency machine that is set up and customizable as this one is, can hit deep like this one can. I mean, you, you saw the air test numbers just now at 80 gain. Um, it's bonkers. If you can get those extra 19 points on the gain out in the middle of nowhere, you have a extremely deep machine. The only thing that goes as deep as this is a PI that I've used. Um, yeah, crazy deep, 11 inch DD coil, 3.7 pounds. Very ergonomic. There it is, guys, the Amphibio Multi from Nocta Macro. I hope you enjoy the video. I mean, that's my final thoughts on it. I'm giving it like a 9 out of 10, honestly. I'm taking off 0.5 because it lets the EMI in so heavily, and I'm taking off 0.5 that it is 3.7 pounds. Other than that, it's built like a tank. It's gonna last a long time. I definitely see it outliving the two year warranty well beyond that. Um, super deep, super fast. Yeah, it's a nine out of 10 for me. It checks off all the boxes I want in a detector. Um, it, it's, it's great. There it is, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. The Hunter GT signing off. I will see you on the next video.